Hi everyone and welcome to this channel. On this channel I will normally be talking about positive mindset stuff or maybe it'll be some kind of family type vlogging stuff. I will offer my advice and words of wisdom uh, and just sort of tell you what's going on in my life and stuff. So welcome if you are new to this channel. Do subscribe if you enjoy this video. But today I want to talk to you about what do you do when you feel rubbish? What do you do when you're feeling just really rubbish and overwhelmed and crappy is the only word I can think to use right now. So I've had a few messages this week off people on my social media and sometimes people will just message me and say, Holly, I feel rubbish. What do I do? Um, and although I am not on call to anybody, often I will respond to people as much as I can. Um, and my advice would be this. So I'm not the oracle of anything, but I like to offer my advice because those of you that follow this channel will know that I've had a whole heap of stuff happen that has meant I've had experience in having to bounce back from tough stuff and feeling rubbish. So my first thing is always when we feel like our head, like there's that little emoji, isn't there, with the exploding brain. And I think we feel like that is a very visual, perfect visual image of what we can feel like sometimes. My first advice is that we need to strip everything back and get back to basics. So when I'm talking about basics, I mean, as human beings, what do we need? We need to eat the right foods that are going to give us nutrition and feel good. We need to drink water. We need to drink lots of water, less coffee, which is what I'm drinking now. We need to definitely not be drinking alcohol and stuff, taking drugs, probably too much caffeine. That's probably not going to help us when we're feeling rubbish. It's going to add to stuff. Um, we need to get the right amount of sleep. Sometimes when we feel rubbish, we just need to just stop the day, stop trying, stop pushing, and go back to bed. I am aware that that's not always the option, but getting good sleep is getting back to basics. And really just expect as little as possible from yourself in those moments. Because sometimes when we feel sad and overwhelmed, sometimes there's not even a thing that's happened, is there? I mean, it's fairly easy to go, if somebody that you love dies, you will feel sad. And it makes sense in that moment to our, our little human brains that we go, it makes sense that I feel sad. If you uh, break your leg and you are an athlete and that has a major impact on your life and you feel sad about that, it feels like that would make sense, doesn't it? But sometimes we feel overwhelmed and sad and it doesn't seem to be that much sense. Of, it doesn't seem to be coming from any sensible place or a thing. And I think often, often that is um, either a combination of things or a lack of knowing what you want to do. So you feel a bit like, like the world seems massive. Sometimes it's habits that we've picked up that we're comparing our lives to other people. Sometimes it's hormonal, male or female. Sometimes it can just be that our body is chemically doing some stuff that we have no control over. And we need to just ride the wave of that a little bit. But I think always the first thing is to stop and go, I don't feel great. Check in with yourself. I don't feel very good right now. I need to do something about that. Because ultimately, your happiness is your responsibility. It's nobody else's. Nobody's going to behave how you want them to. Not your children, your partner, nobody. They're all going to run amok because that's what human beings do. And we're going to think, why won't you make me happy? And they can't because nobody can be, nobody other person can continue to make somebody happy, another person happy every day. It's not their job to do that. It is our jobs to make ourselves happy. So it's about responsibility and it's about you going, I feel rubbish like right now. What am I going to do next? And I always say start with basics. Eat good food. Be it's self-care first of all, you know, get some sleep get drink water because even these tiny things nutritionally and i'm no nutrition expert um but even these these things if you are dehydrated to within an inch of your life because we often are it says me as a, i'm such a hypocrite I'm sat here drinking a cup of coffee um if we are really dehydrated that has an impact on how our bodies run which has an impact on how our brains run how we feel how we can cope with the day-to-day -day stresses of life 
So get back to basics. And then it allows you, I think, to have a clearer head on going, okay, now I'm, I'm I'm lovely and hydrated. I've eaten some great food. I've given my body the nutrition it needs. I've had a great night's sleep. Okay, now I'm in a better space to work out what's going on. Why don't I feel great? And then you can start to make some more um, well-rounded decisions, not based on because you're absolutely frazzled because you're exhausted and dehydrated and eating junk food and maybe you've been out on the drink with your friends and you just can't think straight and everything feels massive then, doesn't it? You know, there's, if you're hungover and dehydrated and you've had no sleep, you've been out partying all night and then you wonder why you can't cope, it's probably that. It's probably that, but it always comes down to responsibility. And also I think having a level of hope that things will get better. I am the eternal optimist. I'm not always positive, regardless of the stuff I talk about. Sometimes I'm sad, sometimes angry, sometimes I don't get it right. But I am optimistic. I know that nothing, not a thing, good nor bad, stays the same. So sometimes you just gotta hold tight have your rest and just allow this moment to pass. Almost see it as if you're outside of yourself and go, okay, this seems like this is a this is a tough bit. Okay, I'm gonna ride this wave and I'm gonna be okay. Maybe not right now, but I am going to be okay. And I think sometimes it really comes down to that. And if you are going through something right now, first of all, I'm here, I'm with you, I, I get it. Life is challenging isn't it it's really it can be really challenging at times but seek out the next good thing because something good is coming okay it's around the corner some of you just internally rolled your eyes didn't you you little creeps i know you did i know one of you just went mm, oh please holly your hair flicked me um there is good stuff coming there just is and even next to next door to the thing that you don't like right now in your life, there's something good and you have to seek it out. That's your responsibility because we choose the things that we see. And if right now you're in the midst of this dark place and you can't quite see that, it doesn't mean it's not there. It's just that you're in a dark place right now. Nothing is fixed. It's not a set in stone. Just because something happened the way that way before doesn't mean it has to continue. I promise you that. I have seen it so many times with people I work with, people that come to my workshops, people that I know as friends, and myself. We come through the other side. You've got through stuff already in your life. You know you have. So stop bullshitting me. You know you've come through some stuff already. So you can change this moment as well. And I'd love to hear your comments below. I like to, I like to hear what people are doing. I like people who are brave with their lives and take responsibility, even when life gets well scary and tough people who look the tiger in the eye, and even if they're scared and they cry and they feel frustrated, they get back up. Because that's all life's about, get back up, feel that little bit stronger, have you cry and crack on and find the good stuff because there always is something good. Anyway, share this video with somebody if you think it will help them if they're going through something tough, tag your friends in it and share it on social media and subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff. Because if you do subscribe to the channel and you comment and stuff, it encourages me to get on here and, and do more stuff because I do genuinely wanna help people. And I've been hanging out on Instagram quite a bit, doing stories and that, because they're well chatty over there. Um, but I'd like to hang out on here a bit more and, and help you guys out as well, hopefully, and connect and stuff. So give me a thumb if you liked it, one of them. And uh, yeah, I will speak to you all soon. Peace. Take me out to Cal